Good evening YouTube. It's Thursday 9th of November and I'm just bringing you about 20 of my recent decent sales. Having said that I've chucked in a couple of um, couple of not so decent ones this time. It's not all gravy reselling some of its sprouts so I chucked in a couple of sprouts for you as well just so you can see that sometimes we get it wrong and you know if we show the ones where we got it wrong perhaps you can avoid getting it wrong too. This one was a good one though. First up then this is this poetry rose pink velvet blazer i paid 1.99 for this in the charity shop i don't think they realized that poetry was a brand worth having I had it listed for 22.99 it's been on for one 30 day cycle today i've accepted an offer on it of 18 pounds so that's going off to the parcel shop in a minute 18 quid for my pound i'll take that every day next up the jelly kitten zigzag pony comforter Again, this was 99p in the charity shop. I was especially pleased to get it A because it was Jelly Cat. Jelly Kitten is the subdivision of Jelly Cat. And B because it was brand new with its tags. Also, the good thing about Jelly Kitten tags is they always tell you what the actual item's called, which saves on the research somewhat. So this is the, it says on the tag, I am a zigzag pony soother. So that doesn't have to save, save time with the research. So I um, have listed this. It was just it was it's just finished one thirty day cycle at fourteen ninety nine. I reduced it by fifty p and put it back on yesterday, and it sold immediately at fourteen forty nine. So I'm pleased with that for ninety nine p. My cap Kidston butter dish has sold. I did remove the butter. I picked this up on Sunday at the car boot sale. I got it for £2 because it still had the old butter in it. The lady was asking £3 and I took the lid off and went, oh dear, um, if I wash it myself, can I have a pound off? <laughs> so um, I paid £1 for this. I intended to list it at £18. Bear in mind, these were £10 when they were new. It, this still had its £10 sticker on the back, which I removed, funnily enough. Um, they were £10 new. When I checked completed and sold, there were some that had gone for £16 to £18. So I intended to list it at £18. And just at the moment I was putting the figure in, I had a Nick Hills moment and bumped it up to 23 on the basis that I was going to put best offer on and then I'd take an offer of 18 if one came in. I had two offers yesterday of £10 from people who obviously knew what they cost when they were new, which I declined. And then it sold later on in the day for the full 22 99 with no offer and was paid for immediately. I have boxed this to within an inch of its life. I have bubbled it boxed it padded that and boxed it again so it's gone off double boxed do your worst hermes i shouldn't say that should i i should not challenge them to do their worst because they will tap dance on it but it's i've sent it off with a fighting chance anyway next up then these mallory towers set now these are the classic mallory towers stories by niblyton that those of us of a certain age will remember from my youth those those ladies of a certain age anyway i don't know if boys read mallory towers they were in pretty good condition i paid three pound for the lot from the car boot itself for my regular car boot guy i normally get things cheaper from him but he knew the value of these <laughs> so um yeah oh look it's popped up with a scan thing in the corner how do i get rid of that i don't know how to make that go away close there we go uh there we go sorry uh yeah so i paid three pounds and i've sold these at 9.99 um, with postage so they're quite happy with that and another Slimming World book I picked this up Sunday I showed this in Sunday's haul I paid £2.50 for this one and for the Curry Club I've still got the Curry Club but this one has sold for the full twelve forty nine asking price as I said on my Sunday haul video the the um, actual price the original retail price on this is four ninety five. so you can get more than the face value on Slimming World cookery books particularly if they are seasonally appropriate so twelve forty nine that one's gone for Now these are these are one of my sprouts. I put these in to show you that we don't always get it right. These are Orvis, which is a brand that I usually buy if I see it because it can be very popular. I bought these in Taunton when I was there with Caroline one day, and they are fugly. They are fugly, fugly trousers, and fugly often sells. These did not. I have had them on at various prices. I bought them in the summer, and I've had them on at various prices over the last few months. They've gone up, they've gone down, finally stuck them around 99p auction. They've been on four 99p auctions with no interest at all. And then on the final 99p auction last week, two ladies got into a little bidding war over them, and they reached the dizzying heights of £4.20. I think I paid about £3, maybe £4 for them. So if I'm lucky, I've just about got my money back. Sometimes we get it wrong. Another one that's hung around for a long time is this Woolmark scarf. I bought it because it's pure new lamb's wool and it was brand new with its tags. I paid £1 for it in a local charity shop. I had it up at twelve ninety nine. I took it down a pound, down a pound, down a pound until it got down to eight ninety nine, and then I accepted an offer on it this week of £8. 
it's gone off in a bundle of other stuff. Lady bought six items from me in total. Um, so yeah, she bought three items at auction. Funnily enough, not the Orvis trousers, I don't think. And uh, <laughs> and then three items that she sent best offers on as well. So glad that's gone finally. I suppose, I haven't, like I said, I've had it months, but if you will buy wool scarves in the summer, you can't expect them to hang around for a while, can't you? These ones, this is definitely a sprout. I bought these last winter, maybe even the winter before. I've had them so long I can barely remember when I got them. They are um, girls' pink suede fur-lined boots. I can't even remember what brand they were. I don't think they were. I think they were unbranded. Um, and I've again, I started them and lowered them. They've been on 99p auctions. They've they've been up and down for months. I finally stuck them on at one ninety nine by it now, and and was quite happy to get that for them. Just glad to see the back of them. They were going to be on their way back to the charity shop before long. I was really sick of the sight of them. This sack roots bag I bought from the car boot sale a few weeks ago. I featured it in a haul video. Um, it was one of those things that you just pick up and you think that looks like it might be. Even though it's quite unpleasant and felt nasty, it looked like it might not be particularly cheap, and it wasn't cheap. When I found their website, they weren't particularly cheap to begin with. So um, that's gone out at sixteen ninety nine, and the buyers paid full price on that. So again, pleased with that one. I think I paid a pound. It might have been 50p, but I think it was a pound. <laughs> it's Nord Turkish meatball mix. When I was on holiday a few weeks ago with my friend, we were in the supermarket in Turkey and she picked up a couple of packets of this and I joked with her about whether she was going to make meatballs in her room. Well, bear in mind, we weren't even self-catering. We were uh, we were all inclusive. And she said, no, I'm taking it home. I really like this meatball mix and you can't get it very easily in England. She said, it's about five quid on eBay. I said, oh, is it? She said, yeah, every time I look to buy some, it's about five pounds. She's right, it is, look, 5 <laughs> I picked up five packets, listed them while I was still sitting in my all-inclusive hotel room, and I've sold two so far. Five twenty-nine. The they they were they cost um, three lira, which works out at about seventy odd pence, seventy or eighty pence. So yeah, five pound twenty-nine with free postage. But of course, they go as a large letter. So yeah, worth picking up. <laughs> I'll sell anything if it's not nailed down. I'll flog it. This is why the dog doesn't stand still too long. This animal bag and matching purse came from the car boot sale a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's gone within a week of being listed. I listed it at fourteen ninety nine. I did accept an offer, although it doesn't show on here. I accepted an offer of twelve ninety nine. Uh, I paid a pound for the bag with the matching purse. So yeah, quite pleased with that. I've got to stop saying quite pleased with that. And this George plus size jacket also came from the car boot sale. I bought it with the idea that I might wear it, but when I put it on, it didn't suit me. Um, I paid a pound, and it's gone for fourteen ninety nine. This Coldplay mug came in a bag of fill a bag for a pound from the car boot guy. Um, I was with my friend Deb Stevens at the time, and we just we said that's an unusual mug. We'll chuck it in. When we came home and looked it up, it goes for more on Amazon than it does on eBay. But because it wasn't new, and I don't do Amazon anyway, um, I just I listed it with slightly spoon marked inside, and it's gone. For, I took an offer of eight pounds, so eight pound for you know something that came in fill a bag for a pound. Quite happy with that. And the bedtime bear cost me a pound from the charity shop. These mother care, mother care and M and S bedtime bears are always worth looking out for. This one sold again within a week of listing, and it's gone for eleven ninety nine. Now the story behind this is that there was a an advert on my local Facebook selling page, large black sack of DVDs for five pounds. She put a picture of of what was there, and I could see there were a couple of Harry Potters, and. Um, not, not a lot else, but, you know, I just thought for all those DVDs for a fiver, there's bound to be something in there worth having. I'll just music magpie them. You know, I'm bound to get more than a fiver. So I brought the bag home. I took out the Harry Potters, which I needed to add to bundles. Um, and I set about going through with the music magpie scanner on my phone for the rest. And most of them came in at 3p, 5p, 7p. This one came in at £2.50. So I thought if music magpie are offering £2.50, then it's got something going for it. So I went and went and looked it up on eBay. And as you can see, they sell for 19 99 And this one did. Within a week of listing, it's gone for 19 99 So the entire bag full cost me a fiver. I've taken a few out of it to add to bundles. This one's coming at 20 quid. My son's had loads of them. My friend's had loads of them. And we've still got some to send off to Music Magpie. So that was definitely worth doing. This is my sale of the week, I think. This is the Ehrman Oak Tree David Merry Design Tapestry Kit. I picked it up for £3 from the charity shop last Monday. Just because it was a tapestry kit and craft kits seemed to be going quite well. Came home and looked it up and discovered that it's a retired design. 
and the only other one on eBay was listed at £95. But mine had been opened. Um, this one was sealed. Mine had been opened. It hadn't been used, but it had been opened, which I had to mention in the listing. So there we go. Unused, but pack is open. Missing the picture on a paper. All unused five balls of wool included. I listed it at forty nine ninety nine. I took. I had immediately lots of watches and did actually consider lifting the price. But I was. Uh, I've had quite slow sales, so I was quite happy to get a quick sale on this. And when somebody offered me forty five, I accepted. And uh, it's gone off to Romania. There we go. Who knew that tapestry kits were big in Romania? Romanian people, I expect. Uh, Pampers Chef cookie press, which cost me a pound from the car boot sale. It had all its little, uh, all its discs inside. I did think one was missing, but when I actually got the box out, there was it was lurking underneath the edge of the cardboard. This cost me a pound and has gone for twelve ninety nine, plus postage, obviously. And I was very glad to see the back of this one. This is the last one of the Tuskers bundle. I bought five of these from the car boot sale over at Hengrove and I paid £20 for five of them, which is, you know, that's a really good price for Tuskers, but could they shift? I had offers that didn't pay. Um, I've had just no end of bother with them. This one has finally gone £14.99 and to be honest, I would only buy them again if I saw them really, really cheap next time because not only have they been slow sellers, but they've also been liability to post. I've been really, really nervous about posting them out on now this is another one that's worth looking out for i picked these up for 49 pence each from the charity shop they are expired 24 exposure color film they are um expired between 2006 and 2008 so you do need to state that in your listing but the expiration date on films doesn't actually make much difference to the films themselves as far as i can tell it's a bit the same with um, printer ink they'll still work i presume the exp expiration date is to cover the company in some way but um, yeah, they sold for nine ninety nine, and I've had decent feedback on those. The customers pleased with them, so two pound fifty into a tenner, worth doing if you see if you can pick them up. Sometimes you can pick them up even more cheaply at car boot sales. I've picked up films for ten p before, you know, in a box marked, you know, everything ten p. Have a rummage around, see what you can find, make up a bundle. And finally, this is a Zig from Zig and Zag, which you may remember from Going Live with Philip Schofield, I believe. What was that called in the Gopher? No, Zig and Zag was the big breakfast show. Good Lord, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm on about. Zig and Zag was the big breakfast with Chris Evans and Gabby Roslin, wasn't he? Yeah. Anyway, this is Zig. I bought him, I think, from the car boot sale. I don't think I paid very much for him. And when I bought him, I thought, well, he'll sell. You know, he's nostalgia and all the rest of it. He's hung around for ages. He did that thing, I've noticed several times that when you give up on something it sells so i mentioned him in a haul video either last week or the week before some we were talking about most nostalgic things you remember and somebody mentioned zig and zag and i said oh i've got one of them but he just won't sell with that he sold so there you go find the item that you want to shift look at it disco discouragingly say well you're never going to sell are you and there you go it sells just like that it's like magic so he's gone for 9.99 plus postage and that's it i think that was about 20 uh, so I will get this video uploaded for you guys. If you've enjoyed this, please please leave me a comment below. I always like to read your comments. I do try to reply to them. Um, if you've enjoyed this and would like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. I believe there's a notifications bell you can press somewhere that will let you know if I'm going live and or if I upload a new video. And I think I can feel a sneeze coming on. So I will say goodbye. Take care now. Bye-bye.